$500 at rockauto.com. Let's go. All right, well, looks like we can finally start to throw some parts at this thing. No, not, not like that. No, I mean, look, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, before we get into it, stickers, I have plenty left. Get us on Facebook, figure out how you can get one for yourself. Anyway, let's get into this. I have the weirdest pocket knife here. And you'll see, yes, I've already opened this one box, mainly because this box had the head gasket kit in it. And I needed the valve seal so I could send those to the machine shop so they could finish putting the cylinder heads back together. Well, when I opened the box and I got the head gasket kit out, there was brown packing tape on the packaging making me realize, hey, somebody's already been in here. I really hope what I'm looking for and I'm hoping that the entire kit is here. Lo and behold, the only thing missing out of the kit is, well, you guessed it, the valve stem seals. Anyway, got in touch with rockauto.com. They're gonna be sending me another set. I should be getting that here in a couple of days and I get to keep this one. So, we'll just go ahead and set the head gasket kit aside. And it comes complete with like timing cover, uh, the uh, crankshaft seal, the, what are those little O-rings? I think those are for injectors. Throttle body gaskets, I uh, don't know what those are, but there's thermostat gaskets, all kinds of stuff in there, so. That was a complete, it was, should have been a complete kit and fell for a flight, but uh, somebody beat me to it. So, now all of this fluff in here and stuff. God, it's almost like Christmas. I'm gonna need a trash bag just for the packaging material to try and keep things from moving around. All right, cool. Got my Bosch Platinum spark plugs. 10 of them, of course, duh. That's gonna be a number I'm gonna use a lot today, is 10. Valve cover gasket set one. And there's that. And that from Ultra Power. Heck yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Those look correct. In fact, real quick, let me just double check that. Oh, you betcha. Yeah, yeah, that one is done. I guess I should point out, I myself personally have never ordered anything off of rockauto.com. So this is my first experience with it, but uh, so far everything's been pretty good with it. I mean, the ordering was easy, setup was easy, shipping was fast, easy. I do have a couple of rockauto.com magnets on my toolbox. I don't know if y'all have noticed that, but that was when my wife's grandfather was still alive and he ordered a bunch of parts from his car and I would put them on for him. So that's why I've got those. And obviously I'm gonna get a few more today. So without further ado, let's get into the next one. Step one. A hole in a box. What we got for this one? No idea. Okay. More air in bags. Oh, these are the uh, injector connectors. Awesome. Glad these are here. So we can start actually ripping into the harness over here. Yes. Oh, yeah. From the other video, I pointed there. That's where that clip should be. You should see it now. See that? See that in there? Where that clip is? Yeah, okay. Anyway, that's what those are for. That's for the ignition. Ignition injector. Not the ignition, the freaking fuel injector. Let's get into this one. Oh, this one's kind of heavy. Wait a minute, I didn't see a magnet in that box. There's no magnet in that box. Oh well. Maybe you only do one per order, because the one. One magnet I did get was in that box with the uh, head gasket kit in it. So maybe it's just one per order. I don't know. Or one per warehouse. Maybe. Who's the, yeah. Who knows? What have we got? More air in bags. So that was freaking loud. Oh. Interesting. These. Hey, hey, we got a magnet. What's this? Ooh, nice. That looks like a 69 Roadrunner. Yeah. All right, we'll stick that up on the toolbox with the rest of them, I guess. We have ignition coils. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
yes, I kind of cheaped out on the ignition coils, but you know what? This truck isn't a performance truck. It doesn't have any hot mods on it yet. So no real, no real need for having a hot ignition setup just yet. And here's some exhaust manifold studs. Looks like there is... How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten each? Is that how many I need? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So there's the ignition coils and the stuff. Get this one, guys. This is a little heavy. I feel like the head bolts are in this one. We don't have air in a bag, we have just paper. All right. Yes. Cylinder head bolts. Let's check these bad boys out. Engine Tech. Never heard of this brand before, but you know what? Should be okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. They even come with little thread protectors. Oh, little thread condoms. Okay. Uh, this bag was open, but the box was sealed. So, I'm gonna have to do some research and see how many head bolts I need per side. Just to make sure that they're all in there. Right, if this one, the bag is open on this one. I won't be. I won't feel so paranoid about it. But I know. Yeah, bag's open on this one too. But still, I'm just gonna double check and make sure. Cooperate with me. Thank you. All right, last one. This should contain, by power of deduction, the timing set. The, the entirety of the timing set, minus the gears. Didn't get new gears with it. Probably gonna have y'all yell at me for that one too. Okay. More air. Timing chain kit. There it is. Is there a magnet in this one? No, but there's a sticker. I only got one magnet or two magnets on that whole bunch. All right, okay, whatever. Yes. Oh, yes. No way. If those, if these chains are, no way. Oh my God, that would help out so much. As you can see these chains here. We can see that there's three of them that are discolored slightly. They're, they're a different color from the rest of the chain. It's only like that on one side, but both chains do that. So if that's to help me make sure that I got the timing right, that would be awesome. That would be really awesome. And you guys, yeah. Oh, oh. And of course, tensioners. Should be a right and a left. I mean, obviously it came in a kit. And it's been a, have yeah, both left and right, right? I mean, there's a left, and there's a right. Yippee! Okay, so. Oh, hey, there's the other magnet. Oh, a 55 Chevy, 210. Nice. That's a gorgeous color, look at that. Oh, sweet. Put that with the rest. All right. So, there are our parts. So I've decided to go through the head gasket kit that they sent me that's missing pieces just to see what else may have possibly been missing. And as it turns out, cylinder head left and right, yes, they're they're both there. Thank God for that. Uh, exhaust manifold, 10. I'm assuming that's these. There's only five of them. So obviously missing some stuff there. Uh, valve stem seal, we know those are missing already. There's supposed to be 20 of those. Water outlet, also missing. Couldn't find that. Uh, throttle body spacer, there's three different types depending upon which model that this engine is going to go into. Uh, whether it been the E-Series van, F-250, 350, excursion, etc. Et you get the picture. And let's see, uh, air bypass valve, which is 
this Pringly looking little thing. Uh-huh. So yeah, EGR valve, couldn't find that one either. Don't know where that went. So this was, this kit had definitely been tampered with. It wasn't just a mispackaging from Felpro itself. Like the, there was this, these ones that were here, they were all in a bag and the bag has been opened. So definitely tampered with. And that's not Rock Auto's fault. I mean, somebody probably ordered this kit, just needed those parts and, and decided to send it back as defective or something. And unfortunately, Somebody didn't bother to check to see if everything was still there before honoring a warranty return and just taped it up, put it back on the shelf, and I just so happened to get the, the mixed results there. So, no big deal. Um, one thing though is this was in it, and I'm not sure what this is for. There's a little bag of O-rings here, and I can't seem to think what it would be for other than possibly the injectors, but... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, yeah, there's ten of them. Eleven. No, oh, there's ten. Yeah, so those are probably for the injectors, which I didn't take out. So, I mean, I took them out with the intake, but I didn't actually physically take them out of the intake. Didn't need to go that deep into it. So, yeah, glad I went through the kit. So, not entirely Rock Auto's fault, and... I'll be honest, in the past, uh, I had talked a lot of smack about Rock Auto, and some of you may have heard me talk smack about Rock Auto, and I've been hearing some good things lately from them, so I figured I'd give them a shot on this one, and uh, other than this head gasket kit not being complete, which is not, like I said, not entirely their fault, um, everything else is exactly as I ordered. It's on time, it's here, like, yeah can't really complain other than this and that's not really anything to mark against them but the good thing is is that rock auto is going to honor a warranty on that one they're sending me a full brand new kit complete that's been unopened and uh so i'll have some spares if i need me i hope i don't think i'm gonna need them but hey in the future i may want to do something different and might reuse those might use those timing cover gaskets i don't know We'll see, but everything else is exactly as I ordered, so we're good to go. Before we go, we got stickers and plenty of them. Just, you know, find us on Facebook, send us a message, see what we can do about getting you some. And uh, we'd greatly appreciate it, you know. Got a whole little envelope of them right here. They're ready to go. You know, it's got your name on it. Let's go. What am I gonna do with this crap? <laughs>